Recently, I have reviewed the Aohi 40W dual USB charger, links in the video description, but today we are taking a look at the other charger, the Ultra Mini 30W charger right here, USB-C, as well as a powerful desktop 120W charger right here. This video is going to be interesting. GAN stands for gallium nitride, a material used in semiconductors you guys know as computer chips that produce less heat at higher power draw and delivers better conversion efficiency from your wall AC to DC in return for more power delivery or higher wattage. Another benefit is more parts can be packed closely together for a compact size charger like you're seeing right here. Aohi also sells a wide range of fast charging cables that's compatible with their entire range of chargers like you see right here and other chargers they sell. This is the one cable that I'm using on a regular basis, the MacLine Plus USB-C to USB-C cable. This is 1.8 meters long, 4 mm thick nylon braided cable that is tangle free but they also provided a velcro strap at the very end right here so you can cable manage it. And the ends right here, this is a zinc alloy housing, real metal. And the cable tip right here is overflex guarded, so you can put the cable into awkward position or stress, it won't randomly snap off. But don't do it if you can, <laughs> just try to make it last as long as possible. Now, this cable right here is capable of USB 4.0 Gen 2 X2 20 gigabits per second speeds, as well as fast charging of 100 watts. This is tested from my experience, it's true, even my PD tester shows it's validated. Now, another cable that I'm using on a regular basis is definitely for my iPhone right here, the MacLine Plus USB-C to Lightning cable right here. So it's the same cable as earlier in terms of length, quality, housing, but this one has a data transfer speed of 480 megabits per second and charging speeds up to 30 watts or 10 volts at 3 amps. This one has a built-in certified Apple M5 chip using the Apple C94 chip. So when you hook it up to Apple products, let's say the iPhone, it will show as genuine Apple accessory. So let's start with the Mac Cube 30 watts right here, which is an ultra mini cute charger that looks like a sugar cube from a distance with texture fronts right here, LED indicator on the top and the main USB-C port right here. So this is a size uh, reference with an iPhone 13 Pro Max right here right here. You can see that it's smaller than the camera bump. I'm going to put it in the middle of the iPhone to show you how tiny and compact it is. Now the package also comes included with this USB-C cable. Now it's the same cable that I showed earlier in the video. That is 1.8 meters long. This is 1.2 meters long. So it's basically a package where you can just buy one set and put on every bag that you have at home. So whenever you go out, you definitely have a charger with you. Now when it comes to the performance of the USB-C port right here, it's rated for 30 watts via power delivery 3.0. My test shows it can do 35 watts, much better than advertised. But here is a quick summary of the USB-C port's voltage, amperage and wattage. Next is the Mac Cube 120 watts Pro 4th port desktop charger right here. This is all matte finish all around right here with on the back is the 2-pin AC adapter as well as the front right here is the 4 USB ports. On the very top right here is an LED status indicator to show what is charging, what is doing when you're doing the charge. I'll call this pump size but here again is an iPhone 13 Pro Max as a size reference. I'm going to put beside it, I'm going to put on top of it, align it accordingly. You can see it's like almost slightly bigger than one quarter of an iPhone 13 Pro Max right here. Now the package comes included with this cable right here, a very long 2-pin AC adapter right here to US prongs right here. Not to worry, they also sell the EU and UK prongs as well. So you can have multiple choice right there. So again, let's go back to the charger right here. We have to see it from this point of view. Now, each USB-C port right here is rated for 100 watts charging via power delivery 3.0. My test show it can do 110 watts on each USB-C port, much better than advertised. Whereas each USB-A port right here is rated for a maximum 18 watts output, my test shows it can do 20, better than advertised. I also try multiple uh, ports configuration. First is USB 
C and USB-C both together, I got a total of 115 watts. Still good in most situations. Second is one USB-C port and one USB-A port. I got a total of 111 watts. Still good in my opinion. And lastly, I tried to use all four ports together. I got a total of 118 watts, which is close to the maximum out rated output. But here is the detailed diagram of how each port is maxed out and the total power output when two or more ports is used together. Now here is also a quick summary of each port's voltage, amperage and wattage. The MacCube 30 watts is priced just under 20 USD and is bundled with the one2 meters long USB-C to USB-C cable. It's a must-have, a recommended and it's a total bargain. It's a no-brainer to buy every one charger of this and place in every one bag you own. So you are rest assured that every time you go out of house in case you forget to charge your device, you always have one cute mini charger with you. It's good to charge your smartphones, your drones, your cameras, your MacBook Air and maybe like the MacBook Pro, you just flip the screen down, you can just trickle charge it so the next time you power up and do some hardcore editing, you're good to go. Or maybe light internet browsing that takes you know 30 watts, you're good to go on this charger right here. But if you are a powerhouse user like me with a lot of charging needs, prosumer, multi MacBook setup, the MacCube 120 watt pro is the wise choice to go this one is great to charge two macbook pro apple silicon m1 pro from my personal test or maybe two thunderbolt 3 thunderbolt 4 usb 4.0 windows based ultrabook notebook or gaming notebooks that now accepts usb c pass through charging and still have two extra usb a ports to charge other devices like your power bank power station drones cameras smartphone you name it for just under 90 USD. This is just a total bargain. Good value for money. And both of these charges right here is backed with 18 months warranty period by Aohi. Now, all is this, all of this is achieved thanks to gun technology that provides better efficiency, higher power charging in a smaller footprint that is great for travel. And earlier I showed you with the size comparison with the iPhone 13 Pro Max right here. It's a no-brainer to have something cute and compact or something compact yet powerful. Would I recommend this to Definitely. I'll include links to purchase them down below in the video description as well as the first pin comment. Do check it out. Do purchase it. My recommendation. And thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you can see more charges, more gadgetary reviews. And yeah, the higher subscriber count we have, the more things that we can review in this channel. Thanks guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Aohi products. But till then, comment below what Aohi products that we should review next. And I can talk to them and we can try to arrange for the next review. Till then, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.